Here we are, Paradise, Michigan, along the Lake Superior Circle Tour, heading on 123 up to the Two-Hearted River today, made famous by Ernest Hemingway, which I believe he was writing about the Fox River, yet he called the Two-Hearted River. I could be wrong, but we're heading up to the Two-Hearted River today. On our way to the Two-Hearted River along 123, M123, the Lake Superior Loop. You come to the Upper Tequamanon Falls State Park. There's also the Lower Falls, which we passed a few miles ago. Definitely check out Whitefish Point, the Shipwreck Museum, and the Lower and Upper Falls if you're traveling towards Newberry or across Michigan's uh, beautiful Upper Peninsula. On the way to the Two Hearted, folks. Just turned off the main highway as we were headed from Paradise uh, towards Newberry, actually. Now we're gonna head north on uh, County Road 500. You can also go to uh, the Crisp Point Lighthouse on Lake Superior Tour, Circle Tour. We're headed up to the Two-Hearted River. And we just came off the road. We're gonna head up that way, north. Beautiful day out today, July 2023. Michigan's Upper Peninsula. About four, four miles up on County Road 500, you come up to this uh, creek or crick, depending upon where you are from. Do some fishing, catch some brookies. And we came from that way and we're heading north towards the Two-Hearted River, uh, Lake Superior, as made famous uh, by Ernest Hemingway in the novel, The Two-Hearted River. And as I mentioned earlier, pretty sure he was talking about the Fox River, which is also located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. But in this case, uh, it, the book was called The Two-Hearted River. Still a few miles out, four miles from the mouth of the Two-Hearted River. We just came that way and we are headed up Loose County Road 423 there. Somebody selling some firewood here. Just coming off the July 4th weekend, so it's all gone. You can see the growth starting to take place after a massive, massive forest fire about 12, 15 years ago decimated this entire region uh, just uh, east of Newberry, Michigan, heading towards Paradise, Michigan, up by here, the Two-Hearted River. And it's just beautiful, stunning area. A lot of snowmobiling, side-by-side, off-road vehicle in this region, fishing. Lake Superior is literally right over the horizon that way. So we're gonna continue up uh, this road, this county road, and we should be coming to the Two-Hearted here shortly.
Just arrived at the Two-Hearted River, the North Country Trail. You could literally hike the 4,600 miles from New York to uh, North Dakota through the entire state of Michigan. And you can see we are literally right where that circle is right now. But uh, you can see how it goes and traverses through Michigan. It's always marked with this blue. And so here's the North Country Trail right there, heading back towards Paradise, south, uh, towards the Mackinac Bridge to Lower Michigan. And obviously here at the Two-Hearted River, it's gonna head along the coast uh, towards uh, Marquette, through Pritchard Rocks. Um, actually, we're right here at this circle. Uh, to the right there, to Quaminon Falls State Park. It's gonna go through Grand Marais, beautiful Grand Marais, through the uh, Pitcher Rocks National Lake Forest, all the way through Marquette, and then on through Wisconsin into North Dakota. As you get ready to cross the bridge over the Two-Hearted, you can see the North Country Trail continues uh, to make its way west michigan's upper peninsula got this great bridge here the rivers in michigan's upper peninsula at least towards the east quamanon two-hearted have a beautiful color that is reflective of the swamps and the trees and the leaves but there's the mouth of the river right over there stunning you come over beautiful Lake Superior along these stunning dunes Thousands of people make their way to the Upper Peninsula, Lake Superior shoreline to collect stones and rocks, crafting or just collecting, shining, beautiful. It's never easy walking in sand. Lake Superior is the deepest of the Great Lakes. You have Canada to the north, Minnesota and Wisconsin also border Lake Superior. As we mentioned earlier, you can do, as we are, the Lake Superior Loop that will take you across Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Depending upon which way you're going, you can go west through Wisconsin into Minnesota, up along, you know, the Canadian Intercoastal Highway towards Lake Superior Provincial Park, back down through the Sioux, Canadian Sioux, into Michigan, Sioux St. Marie, and back into Michigan.
you can just imagine the tens of thousands of years, not more, that went into the creation of all these trillions of stones and sand. We are facing east along Lake Superior, heading towards the mouth of the Two Hearted. I'll take you over here and show you the actual river as it gets ready to empty into Lake Superior. Using a GoPro Hero 9 today, so bear with me, I'm trying to hold it steady for you. Check out some of our other videos. We got some terrific nature videos of birds, blue jays, cardinals, deer, stunning shoreline videos, relaxing, sleep, study videos on our website, North American Nature. And please subscribe and share. Feel free to share this video. The trees in the UP, the swamps, the leaves create an acidic balance when falling into the, washing into the creeks, waterbed and rivers creates this unique color here. But here we are, came from down there to the bridge. So you can see this piece of land that separates the two hearted. And again, we talked about this earlier. Ernest Hemingway used to visit this area quite often. The great Ernest Hemingway wrote about the two hearted river. And some say he was writing about the Fox River that goes through near Seney, Michigan, I believe. You're heading from Newberry towards Munising you will cross the Fox River along the way. I don't have any historic accuracy other than, you know, what I read in a number of different publications that report the same information, but who knows what's true. We do know that Ernest Hemingway did spend a lot of time up here though. His family had a cabin or house on a lake in lower Michigan. Somewhere, somewhere near Traverse City. Can't recall the name of the lake offhand. I have a friend who has a cabin on it or a house now. But uh, his family, as, as a young man, he spent a lot of time in Northern Michigan and eventually traveled the world. Love the driftwood that year after year through storms that roar across Lake Superior find its way onto coastlines everywhere. What story can you know could these this wood, these trees tell? Where'd they come from? Where'd they start off? Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota. So let's make our way over here to where the river empties into the lake. Here we are at the mouth of the Two Hearted. Lake Superior, the river, stunning. A little piece of land.
water is extremely cold right now. It is July, but Lake Superior is always cold. And uh, trying to give you a, a point of view video of what it would be like to be walking at the mouth of the Two-Hearted River. I'm currently literally at the mouth where Lake Superior meets the river. And yes, it is cold, no doubt. But I'm a Michigander, I can handle it. Stunning views, stunning. The great crossing from landmass to landmass. That water was cold, folks, no doubt about it. I'm six feet tall. It came up to my middle of my upper thighs. And uh, there you have it. Stunning, stunning colors, visuals, Mother Nature. Two-Hearted River, Lake Superior, Michigan. July 2023, and guess what? There are no black flies, there are no gnats, and no bugs along the shoreline. I hope you enjoyed the trip on North American Nature to the Two-Hearted River, located along Lake Superior in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, part of the Great, Lake, Great Lakes Circle Tour that goes through Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Canada. Today, we're in the great state of Michigan. And it's just stunning July, right after the 4th. Just gorgeous here today. And we are making our way back along this sandbar to the other side. And yes, it is cold. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on North American Nature. Subscribe and share. Typically in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, June, July, the gnats, the black flies, and the mosquitoes are swarming you. As I am a Michigander, we know this well. It's the first week of July, right past the 4th, and things are good, so get out and enjoy the great outdoors. <laughs>